Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is going to be my first video for YouTube. I made six videos a couple weeks ago. Just deleted them all by accident yesterday. Try to make a freaking thumbnail. I have no clue what I'm doing. But um, I had a good video. It was 30 minutes long. Had all kind of information about me. And I had a topic that I was talking about that I really wanted to upload and deleted it. So... Hey, I'm new to all of this, really have no clue what I'm doing, but I am going to keep trying until I get it right. But I have a thumbnail though, so when I make this video, I already have a thumbnail that didn't get deleted. I'm going to attach it to this video. So long story short, I made those videos, I deleted them by accident yesterday. So the same outfit that I had on in that video, I think I have to wear that outfit for this video because my thumbnail has this outfit on. So. Hey, it is what it is. It's going to work out. But my name is Wandre Diaz. Well, my real name is Draywan Davis, but I go by Wandre Diaz, which that's a whole other story. And I am trying to become a YouTuber. So, um, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff that I like to talk about. I tell different stuff about me and about my life and what I've been through. And I don't know if you guys can relate to it. If you guys can relate to it, then, hey, I guess... You should watch me uh, and subscribe to me. That's the key. Subscribe to me. If you like me, subscribe. Like and subscribe. But uh, yeah, so my name is Wandre Diaz, and uh, I just want to give this a shot, see how it go. I follow a lot of people on YouTube. I thought about becoming a YouTuber a long time ago, but never actually did it, so I'm going to shoot for it now. Um, so a lot of times you may see me driving and talking. I think I'm gonna call this, like if I ever do that and I'm driving, I'm talking, I'm gonna call it Van Vibes because I have one favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, she talks to her car a lot and she called it Car Chat. And I don't wanna copy off her, I kinda of wanna do my own thing and be different, so I'm gonna call it Van Vibes. I got a van and we talking, if y'all vibing with me, it's Van Vibes. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got some Subway right now. I'm doing another thumbnail. I'm practicing my thumbnail. Subway. So it's a, a spicy Italian BLT. So I'm not, I don't know if that's called a mukbang or mukbang or whatever, but hey, I'm about to eat this in a minute. I'm headed to Big Lots. I gotta exchange something because bought something that don't even work right. But uh, yeah, I'm about to slam on the sandwich before I get the Big Lots. But uh, I guess uh, I have one topic I want to talk about, about my dad, but I'll save it for another video. Uh, but I do want to talk about something that I've been thinking about like all morning. So yesterday, this is my car, right? My mom, she doesn't have a vehicle because uh, she has like health problems and stuff and she's not working. And her last car she had was like pretty crappy, so she ended up getting rid of it. Uh, I had another car before this one a few months ago. I had an Equinox, and now I have a van. I bought this from my auntie. Uh, luckily, you know, I had a little money, got the car, and now it's mine. I don't have no car payments, nothing. You know, I just got this nice little van. And it got automatic doors and stuff open by itself. Push the buttons, they open and stuff. This is nice. But, um... But, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Yesterday, I was going to Popeye's, right? Now keep in mind, my mom don't have a car, my stepdad doesn't have a car, and I have my car. And I normally, I always drive because I don't want my mom, I don't want nobody else driving my vehicle, but everybody, everybody drives differently, and I just like to drive my car because it's mine, I want to drive it, I don't, you know, I just feel better with me driving. But yesterday I let my mom drive, they were headed out going somewhere, and I was like, go ahead mom, I was like, you can drive. So I let her drive, I'm behind her, and my stepdad is in the passenger seat. So we pull up to Popeye's, which I go to like all the time, but for some reason yesterday, one of my old friends that I haven't seen in a long time, she was working there. She said yesterday was her second day there, so she had just started working there. And she didn't notice me at first. I'm in the back seat. I noticed her right away, but I ain't say nothing. So she came back to the window to give us our change, and she looked at me. She's like, hey. She's like, what's up? You know, she spoke to me or whatever, and we had chopped it up real quick. And after we got our food, I ended up pulling off. 
and my mom ended up pulling off. We left, and I told him, I said, dang, I said, what did I say? I said, son of a, I was like, dang, look at me. I, I felt like I was a scrub sitting in the back seat, you know. I, maybe I'm wrong, but I felt like I looked like a scrub. Cause my mama driving the car. I'm 23, and I'm sitting back here in the back seat, you know. I feel like at 23, you should have a car. Everybody, I might be wrong. Everybody might not have a car at that age, but I think that's something that you should have. As an adult, I feel like it's certain things you should have. And why would you be a grown, be an adult, a grown adult, walking, riding a bus, you know? I mean, I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know, it's not like, I mean, we got buses here, but it's not like it's New York City or, you know, a city where you, most people catch the bus here. I feel like you should have a car. And, you know, if you don't have one, you're living on rough times, you know, then I understand that. But I feel like you should have a vehicle. And I have one, and I just felt like a scrub sitting in the backseat of my car. And I'm like, dang, what if this girl liked me or something? Or what if I see a female that liked me somewhere? And, and uh, but I, I'm trying to think right while I'm driving. But I'm like, dang, I just felt like I looked like a scrub sitting in the backseat, you know. So... My, when I said that, my stepdad was like, oh, why would you think that? He was like, you know, she could have thought that you had a chauffeur, you know, like your mama drive, you pimping your mama around. I'm like, first off, I wouldn't be pimping my mama because that my, that's just don't sound right. I wouldn't pimp my mom. That's my mom. Secondly, I don't have a chauffeur because I'm not rich. And even that's the only way it would seem okay is if I had a lot of money and I was rich and I had a chauffeur, that would actually be kind of cool. That would probably, you know, make her interested in me. But... I wouldn't want to say I had a I caught a taxi because as a grown man I feel like you should have your own vehicle. I shouldn't have to catch a taxi anywhere unless my car broke down or you know for for certain issues or reasons why I would have a to catch a taxi but I just was against it and I felt like I felt like I looked like a scrub in the backseat of this car and where her not hadn't seen me in a long time she wouldn't know, you know, that this is my vehicle. She just see my mom driving. So maybe I looked too far into it, but when I said that and he responded with, oh, well, why would you think that? I instantly disagree with what he said because I felt like he was wrong. You know, for instance, my stepdad, which, you know, he has no, he has nothing against it, but my stepdad gets rides from everybody. He doesn't have a car and he hasn't, I mean, he had a car once, but it was his dad's car. His dad got him that car. It wasn't his, it wasn't his name dad got it for him you know what I mean so and keep in mind my mom's like 40 something my stepdad 40 something and they both don't have vehicles so I'm not calling them scrubs but I feel like as a man you should want to have your own vehicle and you should have it so when he said that you know well you pimping your mom you, you can have her thinking you pimping your mom or that you got a that you you know that you got a chauffeur I don't have a chauffeur being realistic I mean Hey, I just I felt I I just felt some type of way about it. I feel like as a man, a grown man, you should have your own stuff. You should have your own car. You should be asking nobody for a ride. My stepdad asks people for rides all the time, which when I was younger and I see him do it, I was like, dang, you know, he can rely on anybody. You know, his family always looking out for him. They always picking him, taking where he want to take him. But when I think about it now, as an adult, as I'm older, I don't think that's the way it should be. You know, I think you should be independent and have your own stuff. Like, I don't have my own place yet, but I'm working on it. But I have my own vehicle and I look out for myself. And you know, he look out for himself too. I'm not saying he don't, but I'm talking about the vehicle, the transportation part. You should have your own car. And especially when you get in 30, I believe by the time I'm 30, I want to have like my own, not just my own place, but I don't want to live in an apartment. Some people do. Like my grandparents, they both retired and worked well and they live in apartments, but I want to have my own stuff. I want to have, by the time I'm 40 or 50 years old, I want to have a house, have my own car, maybe two of them. I don't want to depend on nobody for nothing. I want to have my own stuff. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to rely on nobody else for a ride. I shouldn't have to call my aunt. There's no way in my 40s, I'm going to be calling my mama to come pick me up and take me somewhere. I don't want to be doing that. That's just, that's crazy to me. So I guess, you know, I don't know. Y'all tell me, do y'all think like me at 23, if I didn't have a car. My mom was driving me around everywhere. I don't think I'd be a scrub at 23. I think there's a lot of 23-year-olds that don't have cars. Some people might be 25 with no car. But by the time you're 40, 
50 years old, if you still relying on your mama to take you places, come get me, my dad, come get me, do this, do that. If you're allowing your parents to do everything for you, then I think there's something wrong with that, right? Isn't it? You know, I mean, sometimes things happen, you know, like I don't have my license right now. I'm in the process of getting them reinstated. And that'd be for another video. I'll talk about that. But uh, I'm in the process of getting that reinstated. But me and my stepdad are in this. Honestly, we in the same boat here. You know, like we both got into accidents. Different times. We both got into accidents. Didn't have insurance at the time. So we both lost our license because of that. So there's no difference in, in, in us with that situation. And he owed money because of that accident. I owe money because of that accident. But here's the difference. We both don't have a license. Both didn't have insurance. But I got a vehicle with no license, no insurance. I wouldn't got a vehicle. It's registered in my name. I made that happen. Now I have car insurance on this vehicle. So you can't tell me, oh, well, you can't get a vehicle without a license because you can't get a vehicle without a license. It just has to be insured. See, that's something that I had to learn on my own. Nobody taught me that. You know, a lot of things... My mom teach me a lot of stuff, but some things she, I feel like she lacked in because when I go to her for something, she's like, well, I don't know, you know, like mom, you supposed to know this stuff. You know, I mean, I'm 23, but mom, you in your forties and I'm coming to you for help and I can't get that from you. You know, I'm all over the place. I don't know. But long story short is I just feel like when you get to a certain age, you're supposed to have certain things and you should be relying on your parents for everything. And at 23, I'm still trying to find my way. And I know a lot of stuff. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And I still ask my mom for help sometimes. But by the time I'm 40, 50 years old, I shouldn't be looking at my mama saying, hey, mama, give me a ride. Hey, mama, do this for me. Hey, mama. You know, I understand, like, if I'm if I'm working and I'm struggling a little bit and I ain't got enough money, they put a deposit down in the apartment. Mom, you got a little bit of money to help me out? Or, mom, you got $20 here for me to get something to eat? that's okay but to not have a car and need to be depending on your parents for a lot of stuff at 40 50 years old that's not right that's not right at all but uh hey that's just something i had on my mind and if you guys tell me how y'all feel about that do you think it's okay at 40 50 years old to still be asking for rides and riding the bus and stuff like that because that's all i ever seen around me you know, I knew my grandma and my grandpa always had their own. When I was growing up, I looked at them because, no, they didn't live perfect and they don't live the best life, but they always had their own stuff. They had their own cars. My grandma, she don't ask nobody for nothing. She get it on her own. And that's how I want to be. But, hey, I guess it is what it is. But uh, I'm done with that topic now. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me see. I need better light because I'm outside and it's hot too, but sun's out but it ain't shining on me. But y'all look, I'm having Subway. Spicy Italian. See, I'm practicing my thumbnail, so get my shirt right. Yeah. I be seeing, um, I watch, uh, what's her name? Uh, Beloved. Beloved's Life. I watch her all the time. I'm a big fan of her. And um, I, every time they always pause for a thumbnail. And I'm like, what the heck is a thumbnail? So I had to look that up. And I found out. And hey, I'm practicing for mine. So, uh, yep. But this right here is a spicy BLT. A whole lot of tomato. whole lot of lettuce. whole lot of spinach. whole lot of oil whole lot of mayonnaise look at that that look good don't it mm. i got a lot of shots for thumbnails there but what's i'm gonna talk about my first video so i'm trying to make it long enough for y'all but, um, my name is Draywan Davis. I'll go by Wandre Diaz. We already talked about that. I'm 23. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Born and raised here. Still live here. Can't wait to get out. Um, 
I don't do much. Like I, I'm not working now. I was working, but I've had plenty of jobs, plenty of great jobs, but just kind of all over the place right now. Coronavirus is stopping a lot of stuff. Uh, I had got an interview at this place called General Motors, and I got hired for General Motors. But the next week after I got hired, coronavirus really got out of hand, and they shut the plant down. So now I can't even work there. But I've just been chilling. I got my little stimulus check, which was all right. It wasn't, I mean, $200 is cool, but don't go far. Especially when you got shit to do. But, hey. It helped, I guess. I bought a whole bunch of household stuff. And ain't even got no house. <laughs> I'm working on getting an apartment. So, once things die down and everything open back up, I'm going to start working again get me an apartment and move all my stuff that i bought into my first apartment because i want to have my own place mm. it's yeah i'm ready to have my own place i want to have have some space and Let's do my own thing. I'm actually, it's crazy because I, like, I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And then there's a place uh, called Kokomo, Indiana. And I seen online or on the news the other day that General Motors and Kokomo are having, um, is having a open, like open interviews or a job fair uh, next week. So that's about an hour and 30 minutes from where I live. So I'm making adjustments because I'm like, you know what? I need to work. I still got stuff I want to do. Summer coming up. I need money in my pocket. I'm about to go to Kokomo. So I just got a new dog. Now I got two dogs. I got a Shih Tzu and a, a Yorkshire. Or is it? That's how you say it? Not a Yorkshire. No, not a Yorkshire. A Panchi. A Pomerani, A Pomeranian and a Chihuahua is mixed. A little crazy dog. It's a boy named Ace. So now I got two dogs and I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I know I need money. I want to put keep money in my pocket. I got stuff I want to do. So I'm like, I'm going to Kokomo. Because ain't no jobs here right now. The few jobs they do have, I don't want. They're like $9 an hour. And I mean, I know some money is better than no money. But I'm not working for $9 an hour. I like to get paid weekly. I like benefits. I don't like being paid bi-weekly. I'm picky when it comes to jobs. So hey, it is what it is. I know what I want and I go for it. So I'm thinking about going to Kokomo and working there. Because they're making, uh, what is it called? Crap. Oh shoot, not respirators. It's um something to do with corona. They're, they got some type of machines they're building for corona for the coronavirus and they need people to do it. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. So next week, I'm gonna go for it. I already signed up for it. I'm gonna go and try to get it. And if I do, I'm gonna be in Kokomo working i gotta make some money general motors pay good and since i couldn't start the job here and they got it there i'm going there okay what i'm gonna do because this is my first video i'm gonna upload this today but i have a little booklet at home and I have a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about I can talk about and share with y'all. I'm going to write it down because sometimes I talk about all kinds of stuff and too many things, too many different topics in one video. I want to do that. But um, I guess this is kind of about me today. And also... I'll tell some more about me. I am bisexual. I like men and women, of course. And, um, that's another story behind that, too. You know, that kind of caused some issues in the in my family, I want to say. And with me and my dad also. So, we'll talk about that. But, yes, I am bisexual. Um, so, yep. Yep.
it's crazy because I spend so much time at home. Like I'm, I'm really a homebody. I don't do much. I really like to work. I go to school and come home. That's it. But being told that we can't leave the house, we got to be on lockdown because of coronavirus. I'm like, dang, I want to get out. That shit ain't nothing to do. Speak. I remember I told y'all about Be Love. She has this sauce, right? It's called Smack Delicious. I want to try it so bad. It looks so good. Everybody be eating it. I want to get some. I got to get some. She put everything on it. She have like seafood boys and she put it up. She dip her, her seafood in there. She, um, Popeye's chicken salad. She put that on there. Corn. Egg, boiled eggs, she put everything on it. I'm like, that sauce can't go good on everything, and she put it on everything. This sub sandwich is good. Mama. Now my mom called me. She don't want nothing. <clears throat> You're calling me for nothing. If I leave the house for 20 minutes, she wanna know where I'm at, what I'm doing. I never had regular spinach. I've always only had the spinach leaves. I don't know what regular spinach tastes like, but it might be good. Well, I ain't really want nothing. I wasn't talking about nothing. But this is my first video. So, y'all please like, comment, subscribe. And you're going to see more from me. I'm going to have better stuff to talk about. I'm going to start doing better stuff too for y'all. So. So, um, oh, he, um, I see this guy, my old neighbor, he used to live by me years ago. But yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. And while y'all doing nothing at home, being quarantined, keep watching me. <laughs> Follow me on all social media at Wandre period D S J U A N D R E period D I A Z at yahoo.com oh snap my bad that's my email I, I got sidetracked Wandre period D S 
Instagram, J U A N D R E, period, D I A Z. Twitter, Wandre underscore D S, J U A N D R E underscore D I A Z. And then Snapchat, J U A N D R E, period, D I A Z. My mind be all over the place. I can't never focus on one thing. But pretty much, you put my name in. You, I think I'm the only one to even go by that name. So you can follow me on everything. Wandre Diaz. You'll see my handsome black face right there. Follow me. You guys have a good day. See you next time.